Well, we're continuing our series of getting to know our pastors and our elders. And today I have an elder with me, Rick. Glad to have you here. Glad to be here, Dave. Uh, all right. <laughs> Rick, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, about your family, what you do? Uh, I've been married 43 years. We have three kids, two of which live in the Carlsbad area with a total of four grandkids. Wow. And our third son lives in Visalia and they have three children. I'm a retired engineer, worked in the medical device business. Uh, and I started going to church here in 1987. 1987. Well, tell us how you became a Christian. Uh, well, I was born Catholic. Uh, I can clearly remember my first grade, uh, first communion. I can remember the catechism classes, and it started then. There never was a time when Jesus wasn't part of our life and mm -hmm. family practice consistently, mm -hmm. as did all my relatives. And then what brought you to Redeemer? Well, Redeemer came to us, That's actually. True. This is I, true. I was with uh, North Coast Presbyterian Church. Uh, for about uh, and an elder for maybe about ten years, when we chose to merge with uh, the Carmel Valley uh, branch of uh, Harbor, uh, we had lost our senior pastor, and the church was sort of waning. It was generally a bunch of largely old and gray-haired people, not a lot of uh, young fam families. And then when Harbor came, they brought in a lot, and then. They brought in the, the concept of trying to be both a multi-ethnic with a large Asian mm -hmm. population to augment the, the white population mm -hmm. that was pretty much the dominant group uh -huh. that was here. Okay, great. And I know the last uh, 14 months have been really hard for a lot of people. So what's one thing that God's been teaching you during this time? I, I think you, if there's anything to be learned uh, it's that you have to be a little more flexible than usual. Mm. You can't necessarily, yes. uh, you, you can hope that things are gonna be as you expect, but you probably aren't served well if you expect them to be yes. as you expect. Yeah. Um, you just kind of accept that some people see life without masks, some people see it with, and there's maybe a, you just have to sort of find the right line that's good for you and your family. Yeah, so it sounds like God has really been teaching you about flexibility and grace as you're working with different kinds of people. Largely, our lifestyle was being relatively recently retired. We were home alone, the two, my wife and I. And so mm -hmm. that really didn't change. Mm -hmm. um, the golf courses got more crowded. That was probably the <laughs> biggest downside sure. for me sure. was the golf yeah. courses got yeah. more crowded. Okay. I, it didn't help my game. But. So tell me a little bit about uh, what you do as an elder and at this church. Uh, here at Redeemer, there's uh, about a half a dozen things I'm involved in. I'm part of the carpet ministry. We, I clean carpets when they get dirty because okay. I bought the carpet cleaner years ago because <laughs> we needed to have clean carpets. Uh, so that I, became your job. It's one of them. Yeah. Um, I serve on the finance committee, so we do... We, we look at our numbers every month and do bu budgeting each year. I'm on a hiring committee. Uh, I teach uh, in Sunday school. I teach a men's Bible study mm -hmm. every week. And I chair a community group that's been going on for about 15 years. Oh, great. Well, again, we want to thank you for your service with that. It's okay. Uh, well, Rick, I'd like to pray for you. So oh, let's good. go ahead and pray. Okay. Father, I want to thank you. Uh, just for this time for us to get to know Rick a little bit better. We appreciate the fact how he has served here both at NCPC and now at Redeemer for many, many years. And we thank you for his faithfulness and uh, the expertise that he brings. And Lord, his heart, his heart, his desire to see uh, people to come to know you. And I, so I thank you for that heart. Pray that you continue to bless his family as it's continuing to grow with grandchildren and I ask that you would uh, just kind of bless his ministry, Lord. Thank you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time.